Hi, this is John Canalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. Let's go look at uh, uh, some uh, issues with cornea topography or tomography, so to speak. We have here uh, a very long follow-up on the right eye of a young lady. She's currently 32. Actually, she got married. She's uh, planning on having children. We started in 2016 with this cone. We performed uh, transepithelial cornea cross-linking, refractive cross-linking with the Vidro KXL2 device, currently called the Mosaic. We have her in 2017, we have her in 2018, and today, 2021. So we have a five-year, four-and-a-half-year follow-up. And uh, if we go uh, to see the actual changes in her right eye since 2018, we can see a one diopter change. She was... Uh, 52.5, she's 53.5. So a doctor change at the peak of the cone. Uh, and the cone looks a little bit worse overall. There's uh, some flattening here. Uh, she was 41.9, she's 41.3. So these measurements in essence would suggest that the keratoconus has uh, become worse. But we have uh, for many years advocated that the truth is in the anterior segment OCT measurements. We have her measurements here from 2018, and her minimal thickness is 464 microns, obviously at the thinnest part of the cornea, which is the peak of the cone as well. And we can also see how at that time, the uh, epithelium over that area was the thinnest. It would measure the thinnest epithelium that she measured back then was uh, 45 uh, microns. Uh, actually, the blue color here, she's probably between uh, 35 and 40 microns. And also, the epithelium around the cone uh, has uh, become significantly thicker uh, with uh, the thickest uh, epithelium measurement at 65 microns here and here to try and cover up the cone. The same measurements today look a much milder epithelial response. We don't see any uh, dark blue at the peak of the cone. We see that the um, Remodeling epithelium around the cone has really stepped back. Let's go back and look at this a little bit more as an overview. While the uh, minimum cornea thickness has remained the same, 463. So this tells us that although the pentacam maps look worse, probably because we have this shift in epithelium, there's no progression of the keratoconus. The actual cornea thickness is the same. The overall cornea thickness pattern is the same. Her vision is the same. Uh, she's not rubbing her eyes, uh, and this is very reassuring. And this is for us a point where the uh, OCT total cornea and epithelial mapping uh, helps us explain some findings in cornea tomography that could, if um, evaluated alone, create a little bit of concern for uh, the keratoconus. Thanks so much for your attention.